In the early 1950s, Bearcat head coach Sid Gilman was one of the first coaches ever to use game film to make his team better. Our job is to get the best possible film in the most efficient way possible. The concept is still the same almost seven decades later, but that's about it. You're good, just uh, call it end zone. Okay. So view is end zone there. Okay. Adam Niemeyer yep. started off as a student shooting games in 2007. Now, he's the team's head video coordinator. In that short amount of time, the biggest change he's seen is going from videotape to digital. That means the quality is better, but more importantly, getting practice and game film in front of the coaches much quicker. As soon as our game's over, our coaches want to grade our performance. They want to look at the things we did well, the things that we could improve on, and they take notes on all that stuff, and we're ready to go on Sunday morning to the next opponent. Yeah, a great example would be the UCLA game, long plane trip, late at night, and as soon as you get on the plane, they hand you your iPad, you can sit there and grade your film, where that might have been three or four hours of maybe sleep time, but wasted time, and it's opportunity to get some work done. Okay, power rushing right here under his chin, I like that. Steve Stripling has been in coaching for more than 40 years and has seen his fair share of change. The purpose of film study is the same. What's changed is the amount. Now every practice, every game, even NFL clips are available. That's the other big change. There's so much available and it's so easy to get it. It's super simple to, to log on and watch. You can watch the day's practice. You can watch the next opponent's game film. So our, our players are able to prepare. They don't have to be stuck in a meeting room downstairs. They don't have to be on campus. They can be back in their apartment, sitting back. Uh, you know, they pop open the film on their tablet and they can watch it anytime, anywhere. And I think as a coach, it's overload. There's so much information out there. You have to be really selective uh, in what you, you break down, what you present to them, because you, you have access to everything now. And so you have to be selective in what you choose to make the best message to the players. So what Sid Gilman started 70 years ago as a simple tool to help his team get better has turned into a technological necessity, almost as important as the playbook itself. I can't win games on game day, but I help our coaches prepare to win. And I try to tell my students all the time when we're out filming practice, you can't miss anything because it could, it, it could lead to us potentially losing the game on Saturday and I don't want to be the weak link in our whole team's process.